Hey guys, Pain Relievers here, bringing you a dose of tips to help you deal with some common perks that survivors use. So, first perk we're going over is self-care, and one of the easiest ways to deal with this is to equip the Sloppy Butcher perk. It will increase survivor healing time, as well as make them a lot easier to track in a chase, and also makes them a bit paranoid that you could be tracking them with the increased bloodstains. So another really easy way to counter self-care is to use Nurse's Calling. It will show you exactly where the survivor is that is healing up, and if you're using a killer that has a really small terror radius, you can sneak up on them and finish them off no problem. So another great way to deny healing to survivors is to use Franklin's Demise. Some survivors don't actually use self-care, so they bring a med kit instead. If you get rid of the med kit, they won't be able to heal, and they'll be easy pickings later. So most killers in the game have add-ons that reduce survivor healing speed. Some of these include Rusted Jaws for the Trapper, Rusty Chains for the Hillbilly, Rusty Attachments for the Pig, and Sulfuric Acid for Clown. So if you just don't want survivors to heal at all, you can just pick a killer or a perk that has the ability to let you one-shot them. And there's plenty of them in the game. You can use Make Your Choice to one-shot survivors. No one escapes death. It's a great option. Iridescent heads to make survivors disconnect out of frustration. And just using a killer or a power that lets you one-shot them. So next perk we're going over is Decisive Strike, and the first tip is to just slug your obsession. Do not pick them up during the game, just go for other survivors and handle them last. So you'll see that someone got unhooked and I just abandoned my obsession and I went for this survivor instead. Uh, he does rage quit here, so it's pretty funny, he just dies. But yeah, I just prioritize other survivors over the obsession and I handle her last. So sometimes you'll have a game where you have downed all the survivors, however you have an obsession, and if you go and hook the other survivors before the obsession, there's a chance that she could get the hatch, or she could save them off the hook, so what you want to do is deal with her immediately, uh, pick her up, move away from the closest down survivor, and then when she tries to go for the heal, you just down her again. So another way to deal with Decisive Strike is to use the Enduring perk. Uh, it's not a perfect solution. You will still get stunned, but you can pick up the chase a lot quicker than if you didn't have it. So another strategy you can use when dealing with Decisive Strike is to just completely ignore the obsession, make believe that she doesn't exist in the game, and you can use the Play With Your Food perk to make use of her by getting a nice speed boost to help kill her friends faster. So even though you might not get 4 out of 4 kills, 3 out of 4 is still pretty good. So the last tip is to just let your obsession bleed out. If they have Decisive Strike and they are next to a hook that you uh, can't hook them on, like this situation right here, uh, then just let them bleed out. So last perk we're going to talk about here is Borrowed Time. And the first tip for you is to go after the savior. Oftentimes, when somebody saves someone from a hook, they put themselves in a risky position and they don't have borrowed time. So instead of going for the borrowed time person, you just go for the savior instead, and you can get an easy down that way. So in this clip, this hillbilly was camping my friend on the hook, and that's usually not a good idea if you think the survivors have borrowed time. Borrowed time only activates if the person on the hook is within the terror radius of the killer, so because that was the case, I was able to save him and let him get away. Another way to counter borrowed time is to just make sure that you have zero terror radius when they get unhooked, so borrowed time will not activate. So one other way to counter borrowed time is to just wait 15 seconds after they are unhooked before slashing at them. Uh, unfortunately here I do slash at them before 15 seconds are up, but if I had waited those 15 seconds out, he could have just lost his borrowed time effect and I could have downed him immediately. So last tip when dealing with borrowed time is to just let the survivor bleed out. You don't even really need to hit them, just follow them around, keep them from healing themselves, and eventually they will just die and you can hook them. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.